One thing that goes on in haunted places like this is people unknowingly conjuring up evil. What the hell is that? What the hell is that? There's a dark figure right in front of me. My concern with this tunnel is the negative entities that have attacked, biting, scratching, and even being pushed down into the rocks. Some have had a lifetime worth of nightmares after coming here. I really hope that's not the case for me tonight. This really is alone in the dark. Oh, hell no. <gasps> No! Did you just try to throw a rock at me or something? <gasps> Hello? Alright, here we are, fam. There's the Donner Tunnels. I'm kinda scared because it's gonna be nighttime. Any second now. Did bring my bear spray, because there are bears out here. There are a couple videos that I have seen on YouTube of people here. I don't think people are as dumb as I am coming at nighttime. As you can see, there's my car, and this is like a little parking lot. Ain't nobody here. I am a little concerned though, because I hear that there are bears that have come in close contact with people inside of these tunnels. I'm not sure how far we're gonna make it down. These tunnels go down, I think like four miles. It is a good hike. People do come here to hike during the day, but that's not why we're here. You know why we're here because we want that scary, scary. It's starting to get dark outside. Sun's going down. Did bring my good hiking shoes too. Oh, hell no. Wait, that's where we're going? Oh, God. Ooh. In case you're wondering, it's not that cold. It's like 60 degrees or so. But you know me, I'm a Floridian. We're in Northern California. It's pretty chilly out. Oh, don't bite me. Don't bite me. There's a bat. I don't know if you can see him. All right, you stay over there, Mr. Bat. Is this your bat cave? It's so dark in there. No, don't wet my camera. It's like raining in here. Goodbye, light. I'll see you tomorrow. Kind of figured it'd be an awesome opportunity to catch anything being here alone. If you didn't know, this is my series that I'm doing alone in the dark. And so far it's been nothing short of awesome. Somebody like shining their light. Far away. I see you. I wish I had a zoom. Looks like somebody's flashing a flashlight. Oh well. Maybe somebody's out here exploring. Oh, gosh, There's a lot of bugs in here for being cold. It is summertime, but in Northern California, it does get pretty cold. There's still snow on the mountains. I think there's like ski resorts up there. Wow. I think there's people here. I don't know. I still see lights. I'm not even that far from the entrance. first got in here at the entrance there it's a big sign that says property is under video surveillance and I thought at first well maybe it's because you can't get in here no they just don't want to see people coming in with spray paint so it all has to do with graffiti because I guess there's quite a bit of graffiti it's so quiet in here people have seen miners in like their old 1800s mining suits or attire. I think that's pretty cool. Full body apparitions. That is what I want to see. I haven't seen one in a long time. It'd be really cool to see one in here. I'll tell you what, so far, I keep seeing lights at the end of the tunnel. Like somebody has a lantern or a flashlight. Okay, 
reason I keep looking around is for bears. I ain't scared of ghosts, but I'm scared of bears. Let me know here in the comments what you would do if you saw a bear. Would you freeze? Would you run? I think I would run. But just in case, I do have bear deterrent. And it doesn't hurt them, it just kind of disables them temporarily. <laughs> Hello? I didn't see anybody out in the parking lot. What? I'm picking up a rock. What the heck? It's kind of hard to see because there's just a little bit of daylight outside, but that's gonna change. Just a couple of minutes, you can see how dark the tunnel's getting. They're just standing there. The light's getting closer. I wonder if bear spray works on people. I hope these people ain't trouble. They're a lot closer now. I won't go inside. Yeah, somebody's definitely up there. See? Maybe somebody that was exploring locally. I didn't see any cars out there. Um, I'm officially freaked out. Yeah, you just feel like someone's following you. It's unsettling. No! No! Oh, crap. I do have a spare light. And I have a gimbal light, but my gimbal is already dying. Is anybody down here? More water. We ain't seen nothing yet. Grab your popcorn, because sun is officially down. Hello? Dude, this is so weird that there is snow. Look, all those mountains up there have snow on them. Oh, hell no. Oh, man. That is such a drop. It seems almost every haunted location I go to has some sort of water source. Some say that spirits use them as portals. Supposedly they give spirits energy, like more energy. Well, that was the first tunnel. Oh, that's beautiful. Man, I don't see anybody. What the heck? Last life, I died in meditation. Cross the br bridge in concentration, reborn in Bod his uh, two. I don't know. I don't know what that says. The next reincarnation disseminate Dharma. I'm not even gonna read the rest, but it's like a, a, an angel or something in there. Let's see if this thing works. Oh, ho, 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 ho. 
Oh yeah, it works. I probably should have sprayed that in the opposite direction. Not in the direction that I'm going. I'm such a knucklehead. I'm gonna give it some time to go that way. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna walk this way. The last thing I need is to go blind in a dark tunnel. Probably not the best idea. You know, I'm gonna close one eye just in case one gets infected. I got another good eye. What the heck? I see lights. Look. Did you see that? Unfortunately, both my eyes are low-key burning a little bit. It's not terrible, it just feels like I have bad allergies. If you've ever had eye allergies, it's kind of what it feels like. Oh, dang, that looks kind of dangerous. I want to kind of match what I'm seeing right now because it's not as bright as it looks. I'm going to turn my exposure down a little bit. Um, so... That's kind of what it looks like to me. But my camera shoots out a lot of really nice light. The sun must have just set over there. Maybe it was, I don't know. It's been like an hour. But yeah, it's dark. Like without, I mean, that's still even a little generous. I can see better through my camera than with my own human eye right now. I just walked over a ginormous animal turd. I don't know if it was maybe a coyote or a bear or something else like a mountain lion. Please don't eat me. I taste very bad. Plus, I just had some Mexican vegan food. And it will give you gas. All right, look. I'm not trying to, like, cause any issues for whoever owns this, but if I... And being chased by something this could be like a safe haven for me how do you get in this though oh, it's locked of course it is i mean i could jump on top of this though not saying that it has saved me from a bear attack but bro this is scary oh my gosh go supposedly like different colored lights that's why you'll see some investigators Oh gosh, this is scary. But you'll see some investigators with these flashlights that do blue, red, and green? Yeah, it's green, so. Okay. I'm going back to regular light. That's just way too dim. Just want to throw something out there. Don't do what I'm doing. Going to a place like this in the middle of the night by yourself, if, especially if you're a woman. I know that there's a lot of brave women out there, way braver than I am, but don't do this. I mean, I do have bear spray. I'm a big guy, I work out, I'm strong, but I'm not stronger than a bear. And I am by myself. If there's a bunch of people that show up, I am gonna fight, I may shoot, but I could still get injured. The worst can happen, and I don't want that happening to anybody here watching. Just do me a favor and visit these places by watching my video. I mean, you could come visit. Just don't do it at nighttime and alone. So it might not be the greatest experience. What's up there? Hopefully no bears. This is where I heard the screaming. Did somebody fall off this cliff or something? Hello? Oh. Maybe there's somebody over here. Negative.
people have been scratched here and pushed into the rocks and probably given nightmares for the rest of their lives. I'm hoping that's not the case for me, being that I am here alone. Other than that, it's a really neat tunnel. Looks like a giant cave. I mean, technically that's what it is. Oh, I just got a really cold spot right here. Oh, I see that light again. Just, I don't know if you can see it from a distance. Oh, it disappeared. I don't know if my camera caught that. It should have. I'm trying to walk a little quieter. Oh, just as I was turning the camera, I saw a light. It was like a flash of light. I don't know if my camera caught it. I don't know. Every time I turn around, I feel like there's something. What the hell is that? Dude, I what the heck is that? There's a dark figure right in front of me. Hello? Dude. My mind's playing tricks on me. I thought, I really thought I saw a dark figure right there. It wasn't moving, it was just standing there. Maybe I did see it. Maybe it was just that wet spot. I don't know. I always try to debunk things. I'm wondering, I'm just a little curious, if the figures that people see, like the dark figures here in the Donner Tunnels, if there may be some of the wet spots in the rocks. Because there's a ton of them, and they do from a distance kind of look like a shadow. Here's the thing though, I heard a scream Please believe me if I, if I can't find that footage. Like, I heard a scream. What the hell was that? It says push. No, thank you. Oh! I just saw a light. I saw a light at the end of the tunnel. Okay, I don't know if my camera caught that. Once again, I keep seeing flashlights. But then when I get to the area, there's nothing there. It's so trippy. I feel like going alone does kind of intensify what you hear, what you see, because you're, you're more aware of your surroundings. I think you sometimes miss a lot too. That's why, that's why I got my camera. That's why I got you here, because Chances are I probably missed like 10 things that were behind me and you caught them. Oh. Probably gonna be some of you being like, Omar, you're a wimp. You're such a wimp. Why don't you come in here by yourself? Spend like three hours. I do wanna kind of mention something because there are some paranormal investigators out there that will sometimes hate on me, and it, it, this is why I don't really consider myself an investigator. I'm more of a enthusiast, documenter, historian. You could call me that. Don't call me a paranormal investigator. I got tons of friends that are paranormal investigators, but within that community, some of them, they get mad at me. They're like, dude, how come you don't use more equipment? Like, how is it that you're able to catch so much more than I catch? And then I'll go to their YouTube channel and they have this uncut video for 10 minutes long. They go somewhere that's considered haunted. They go for 10 minutes and they're like, eh, this isn't haunted. Dude, I've been in haunted locations for about, I don't know, 16 hours. I've been overnight twice. I was just at this really creepy place that I spent the night two times. And it's in one video. I mean, yeah, maybe the video is a little bit longer, but 
Sometimes you catch things, sometimes you don't, but you do have to stay a little bit longer than 10 minutes if you wanna catch something. Who do you think is gonna catch more fish? The guy that's there all night or the guy that's there for 10 minutes? Just throwing that out there, okay? You wanna catch more stuff, spend less time with your gadgets, go and explore, have your lights with you, have your camera with you, and just, just explore, okay? It's much more fun exploring than, I'm not saying that gadgets aren't fun, they are fun, but sometimes you miss out on a location that has a lot to see, like this location. You know, maybe some people just start at the beginning of the tunnel and they stay right there with their gadgets and they get distracted. Explore. Okay, I just had to get that out of the way. Sorry if that offended, actually I'm not sorry if that offended somebody. I'm not saying that I do things right all the time, but if you wanna catch more stuff, spend a lot more time in a place, okay? Aw, you're beautiful too. I don't know if that's somebody walking towards me. The water dripping. So this is my gimbal. Yeah, kind of some behind the scenes with Omar. I'm gonna show you how shaky my footage is gonna look. Definitely a lot lighter holding the camera and not holding the gimbal and camera. And it frees up my hand because I attached the light to the camera now. All right, now I'm blind. See how dark it is without my light. Oh yeah. Hello. You were born inside your head. Oh, that's some matrix right there. There's a lot of RIPs around here. Oh. Oh. I'm hearing noises in front of me, behind me. Maybe there's rocks falling. It's the noises we keep hearing. I don't know. I think I see a light. Is there anybody over there? Who's there? I don't know if there's an animal back there or a person, but whatever it was, it was coming right towards us. There is a bridge nearby. Maybe that's the lights I kept seeing. No, 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 no. Because I was seeing lights over there too. That's where I saw the flashlights. You know what? I'm thinking those like footsteps or whatever I heard. My, my ears were covered. I mean, I can't hear very well. I'm thinking that's this water that's behind me. Because we weren't that far away. Oh no. Let me know what you think.
Yo, these Adidas shoes are so awesome. I don't know what the name of them are, but they almost look like cleats. Well, from the bottom, at least. I look like a Oompa Loompa. <laughs> All right, hey, whatever ghostesses are here, the ones throwing shit, screaming, I am not your enemy. So don't be my enemy. And if you are, I have a protector. Gosh, I feel like something's following me. You do not have permission to follow me. seen in the tunnel but that's outside now that there's no cars out here there's a bunch of kids coming over here lock my door okay so kids do come out here but they don't come out here alone there's one two three four yeah, there's a bunch of kids here. We got out just in time. Oh, look. Dude, they're like second guessing even going in there. Here, let me give you some light. I don't think they want to go in there. <laughs> oh, man. Dude, there's like seven people. And they're like... Nah, we ain't going over there. There goes the kids. <laughs> They're like, peace out. I'm actually kind of glad those kids are uh, not going in that tunnel. Yeah, they're just right at the very front taking pictures. If you go in, be careful, because uh, I was hearing a lot of stuff in there. Yeah, if, if you do plan to come, like I said, bring some people with you, but be quiet. Like, don't laugh. I mean, I know it's hard when you're with a bunch of friends and you're kind of freaking each other out, but take your time, because you may run into something pretty cool but anyways if you haven't already make sure to get yourself some alone merch because hey there is nobody cooler to have as a best friend than yourself yeah, that, that's pretty good it's pretty good hey you have to love yourself first before you can love others there's a saying that i heard once said i'll take care of me for you if you take care of you for me and i know it sounds kind of selfish but it's not you have to love yourself first before you can take care of others i've been guilty of this where i always worry about others before worrying about myself and you know it's important to care about yourself you know eat right go to the gym i mean that kind of loving yourself not being selfish and conceited anything like that but taking care of yourself all right fam gotta go for now before you leave give me a kiss Mwah. peace